What's going on guys? No Rights here. Welcome. What a team by the way. Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to attack with the 532. I've got the control on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And this would be attacking tool for the 532 and just generally for all formations. I've got the eye track as well, so a little blob moving around. That is my eyesight movement. I'm going to walk you through everything live, how you can attack. Now we're going to be using the 532. You haven't seen that video for the tactics and instructions, obviously check that out on my channel. Um, link will be down below. Just type in 532 or click on my channel. It's one of the most recent videos. We have both Atal and Nedved playing left back and right back respectively. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, right back and left back, should I say. Um, and they both have good stamina, 89 stamina and Atal has 80. And you're going to see at the end of the game um, why you should use someone with high stamina as opposed to someone like Atal. Um, just made it a bit easy as well. We put all three center mids on stay back while attacking. Now in the video, I explained you can use one center mid on join the attack or maybe you have one on balance, one on stay back, one on get forward. This way, if you if you watch this from a more defensive mindset, it's a bit easier for you. So what I mean by that is we're going to quickly kick the ball out of play. Um, if you watch this video from a defensive mindset, that way if I become more attacking in game, it's very easy for you to follow. If, for example, I put all these players on, for example, get, get forward, you might be thinking, okay, I know how to attack, but I'm also defensively not stable. So I'm going to show you how to attack with a defensive setup, and that way it will cover all aspects. You just want to make it more attacking? Feel free, well, not that one, but feel free to put get forward or join the attack on one of the three center backs. Now, as I mentioned, when you're playing this formation, both the left back and the right back, when they go forward, it attacks in a 3-3-4. Three, three, your two strikers, your left back and right back, made the two wingers, the three center mids, and your three center backs, hence the 3 3 4 system, the 3 3 4 layout. That's how you attack. You defend in a 5 3 2, you attack in a 3 3 4. You're going to use the running jockey here, just going to quickly uh, try to cover these passing lanes, stop the ball going out forward. Going to press a little bit with Neymar. Going to use Ronaldo, going to run back with him as opposed to breaking my back three. Going to use one of my center mids here, not be too aggressive. Good chance for me to get the ball, do a slide tackle. Now, this is the thing. Now, watch the left back and right back. Watch them, watch how they launch forward. You see that? Now, this is the thing. When they go forward, they are completely and utterly unmarked. Now, you can see, for example, a towel here on a radar. If you just look on a radar one second, um, you see how when they go forward, they're completely unmarked. And I'll show you again. So, when you're defending, watch, they come back to defend. They come back, as you can see, a towel just bottom my eye. See, he's kind of coming back. So, do bear in mind that transition. They're going to be a bit away. Oh, nice skill move from my opponent there. Nice, unlike a nice try. And you can see, look, when you go forward, as you can see, they're racing forward. And it's the benefit. Striker, winger, one, two, back to the right center back. And that's it. Clean through. Untouchable. No one touching him. Now, if I don't really cross, but if you want to cross, you can do that there. And just to give you a bit of an insight of how effective it is, we're going to switch the ball now to the opposite end. Oh, that's probably a bad pass, but Eto. Um, we're going to switch the ball now to the opposite end just to give you a bit of an insight. So as you can see here, we've got so many players forward, but you can you see how much, how his basically, the, my right back is unmarked. Now he has his winger on stay back while attacking, but look at the space. You see the space in between those two defenders? And that is one of the key things with the 5-3-2. So even if they do have a player on stay back while attacking, it creates a humongous amount of space between their left center back and their left back, which makes it very much easier for you to attack on both wings. So in picture this, you've got two strikers versus two, stri uh, two center backs, and you've got a left back and right back, of course, disproportionately moving your opponent's defensive line. And we're going to defend here with our CDM, use our CDM again, three center mids. Driven pass forward. We've got two strikers here. We're going to wait for the left back and right back to go forward. There is Nedved. We see a towel on the bottom of our screen. A towel is completely free to a through ball. That was meant to be to a towel. Unfortunately, the game kind of assisted that pass. They should have probably put a bit more power. We're going to defend here with our center back. Run and jockey. Run and jockey again. We've got three center backs, so we can be um, aggressive as we want to. And this is why you need good stamina on left back. See how to keep running back and forward. And we're going to let him become more aggressive. Quick one, two, backwards if you want to. And if you're ever unsure, you can always just switch the ball to the other side like so. And you see how that guy's unmarked? Unfortunately, Atal's a bit on the short side there and it was kind of a bad pass in all honesty. But you can see the idea as I mean that you, you had them always free. As you can see, look at the space. And as you can see, look at the distance between his center backs and his left back. Look at his left back and right back. See how they're getting drifted apart? By the 334. And this is just how you, I just wanted to show you this. And this is how you can use it. If you want as well, you can use Hug the Sidelines as well to aid how far they go. Um, but do bear in mind if you do use Hug the Sidelines, they are pretty wide, almost too wide. Um, but I'll show you, for example, how Hug the Sidelines can be used. Again, we're going to use our right center back, bring that bring him through. Nice. We're going to bring the ball okay to our midfielder. As you can see, Nedved completely free and unmarked. As you look at the distance between Eto 
Look how much space Eto has. You see that? Look at that space. Perfect. Look at that right back. Completely unmarked. Lofted pass. And unfortunately, it was a very good save from my opponent. Goalkeeper. Um, but now you kind of get understanding. So now we're going to now you understand mechanically and technically how the formation works. Now let's go through the attack inside now. We're going to run and jockey here. Keep him at bay. Run and jockey. Keep him at bay as well. Run and jockey again. Protect the angle towards goal. Get the ball back. Nice. Now we can still play quick, quick, fast football. Quick one, two between the two strikers. Ball all the way. Good defending from my opponent here. It's going to run back here. Be a tad bit aggressive with our back three because we've got we've got basically a back five. Quick one, two, one, two. As you see, Eto, I mean Nedved, should I say, coming in, back to Eto, and as you can see, so hard for him to defend, and that should have been a pass to Ronaldo. Unfortunately, didn't go through. Ronaldo, as you see, look, look at his right back. See how his right back is, and look at look at his left back. See how much space these players have. So if you're ever unsure, just move the ball around, and you, as you see, you got the three centre mids as well. We have got Nedved. Unfortunately, I think just offside there, just offside. Was, that would have been a really really good pass. That would have been a really good opportunity. And as you can see, you can also do the one twos with the three centre mids. Because don't forget the three centre mids, as I mentioned. I don't want to score too early. Hopefully, this guy doesn't quit or something. Um, but you with the three centre mids, you can be aggressive. Because if you be aggressive with one of the centre mids, you have two in reserve. I'll just say don't be aggressive too much with the uh, I would say ooh, that was a nice skill from my opponent. I'll say don't be aggressive with um the centre centre mid though. I mean central centre mid. You can be aggressive with the outer ones. Eto, so here Eto's my less than a mid, so I can do a one to Eto. That's completely fine. We've got Nedved running in. Going to do a lofted driven through ball. Fake shot away, because he we think he's gonna get it. Okay, that's fine now. He's playing pretty deep. That's fine. We're not gonna panic. Gonna go outside and again we can use our left centre back and right centre back if we need to. Distribute the ball into the middle. Nice. Quick one two. One two again. Waiting for the overlap. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best of runs there from Quadrado. Gonna run back now. And you can see, for example, even with three centre mids, it's very, very easy for you to attack. There's so many variety, so much variety, so many attacking choices you do have. It's going to run back here and anticipate that pa passing lane, should I say? Anticipate that. Go forward. Okay, nice. We see Nedved, of course, running. And this is why you need the high stamina. We see Atal completely unmarked. We're going to play a driven pass down the wing. And of course, you want to cross the ball if you want to. We're just going to go with a very simple lofted pass, and that should be basically a goal. Um, Neymar should hit that with his left foot, but that's the key. If you like crossing, this is probably and definitely the formation for you. Um, it's almost impossible to stop, and this is very good for those that are playing very deep, dropping back, parking a bus. Because if your winger is always free, what can you do again? And we're going to anticipate the right back making a run in behind. A tall man marked, unmarked again. Perfect. So you're going to cut the ball back in the inside. And it forced your opponent can to manually defend as well. Fake shot upwards. Okay. A bit in trouble here. So he's going to make a ball roll. Pass the ball backwards over here. That was not meant to be to him. Outside the box. We see Neymar free. Uh, would have been a very, very nice chance. Here's our Eto, our right centre mid. We can do a one to Eto. Um, we can take that risk because, you know, Eto is our left. When I said left centre mid or right centre mid, as long as, as you can see, Kudrow, that central player, as long as he's in shape, the rest of the team is fine. Um, and that's what I meant by, for example, when you're attacking, if you want to make this more attacking, you just simply put your left centre mid or your right centre mid on during the attack. Um, I would say with this centre mid, just try to be a bit more conservative. You can do one twos and even do one twos back with your right centre mid and left centre mid. But I'll say keep your central centre mid in position. Kind of use him as like a utility player, one that you can rebound the ball back to him. Back to him, if you're in trouble or he's there, in this case you do lose the ball. And you can see when they go forward, it is basically impossible for your opponent to man mark. Going into the second half now. So with two 0 I mean, if you want, you can go to a more defensive four two three one. But I actually like the five three two to defend with because you've got three centre mids as well. Going to do a quick one two to make Nedved run faster. We're going to do a 1 2 again. And look, you can see, for example, just Nedved. And I'm not really one of a crosser, but a cross here would be perfect. We're going to do a first time fake shot upwards. And that was a bad, bad timing for me. Complete missed time. Outside the box to our central center mid. And again, we can do, we can just not, not panic. We've got space here. Quick 1 2. Send our right center mid forward. Send our left center mid forward. And as you can see, look how hard it is for him to mark. And you can see, even when he's trying to use overload and play in a very narrow width. You see there's always gaps, always gaps. See Nedved making that beautiful run. Do we make the pass? No, but I see how, see how I force him to use his right centre back there and his right back and his wing backs. There, perfect. Unlucky. We're going to back to re-expose. Now we're going to run back. Let him come to us. Wait for our left back and right back to reunite the defence. Cut that passing lane out. Nice lofted pass from my opponent. And we're going to do a perfect slight tackle here to win the ball back. 
Um, again, the left back and right back today going to bomb forward, as you can probably see on the radar. But it is waiting for them to make their runs going forward. We're going to play for time. And that in turn has squared up some time. We're going to make a quick pass in the middle. Um, lob pass in the middle because we've got Marcel Sanchez free. And the wingers, they're there. And we can see a tile. And again, we're going to do the exact same thing again. Bring a tile straight into line. Do a bit of skill moves, actually. Shimmy once, shimmy twice. Back outside the box. Rotational. Um, we can see Ronaldo there. L1 trigger. And as you can see, because he's completely out of position, he didn't know what to do. He panicked there. Fake shimmy inwards, outwards. And that should be very much a goal. AI deflection to come and check. But you can see, for example... You can really come see the formation coming to light, how effective it is. And if you want to make it more attacking, you can see him put the left center mid and right center mid on during the attack. And I'll show you that now, actually. So I'm going to do a quick slide tackle here. So, I mean, obviously you should not be doing this. But if you want, let's say, for example, you want to be even more attacking, you can put get forward both the left center mid and right. Now, bear this in mind. I would say in the beginning, put one of them on get forward and um, one of the other one on balance don't put them both on get forward but just want to make you just want to show this how this can even be more attacking than sometimes a 3-5-2 and this is why maybe in terms of if the players are enjoying the attack it can be more attacking than a 3-5-2 and quickly move that red dot out of the way as this seems to be a bit distracting nice okay beautiful okay good tackle from my opponent running jockey here running jockey running jockey backwards we got using our center mid using our center back now push him away from goal Push him away. Don't panic. Don't panic. He's right-footed and uh, very unfortunate. Um, the ball just fell into my opponent's lap. There's nothing that I could do over there. You can also switch the ball like this. So if you're ever in trouble, remember, you can always switch the ball. As you can see, and that was a bad switch from my end. Do a through ball down the wing. And as you can see, this is where the left center, back, left center mid and right center mid join the attack. And obviously, you're going to be very open when you defend now. Um, but I just wanted to show you, for example, how attacking you can make it. We're going to run and jockey backwards. Here, going to run and jockey. Not going to panic. He's very skillful. So it'd be a good example of how you can even defend against someone who's very skillful. Just cut, remember, remember, cut the passing lanes to danger area and defend the angle towards goal. Nedved, he's there. I see Atal. He's there as well. And um, that was an absolute dreadful pass from my opponent. Now, obviously, naturally speaking, Especially if your opponent is losing, he's naturally going to be using team press. So you shouldn't, of course, be playing this attacking. I'm just doing it for example purposes only. So, of course, I'm not saying people always think, oh, yeah, he's playing attacking. Maybe I should change to attacking formation when I'm losing. Absolutely not. I'm just showing you as an example, of course. Run and jockey here. Run and jockey again. Push the guy out wide. It should be very, very good. I thought it was going to be a goal there, to be honest. And this is the issue, as I said, with the left center mid and right center mid. Because you're so attacking, sometimes you're left with kind of like just three players in mid in the back. And of course, you can still defend against it, as you can see I am. Um, but you have to be quite vigilant and uh, quite careful when you are going forward. Because you, you've got one center mid, and of course, everyone else is far forward. So as you can see, look as you can see, look at, look on the radar how many players are forward. Look, six players in attack. Can you see that? And as you can see, look, Renato Sanchez completely unmarked. And a simple one to him behind. It makes it almost impossible. Look, Eto overlapping. And you see how hard it is for him to defend. Almost impossible. You have your left back, the right back, the two strikers. That's four players. And left center mid and right center mid join the attack. That makes a six-line attack. Even against the most defensive player dropping back, it is almost next to impossible to humanly defend against such a system. We can see, for example, over here, um, an example of how it really does work. You can see how my, look how Eto where he fills into that gap. And here, as long as I don't lose the ball, look at Nedved, look at that space. And then you can see Ronaldo is practically onside as well. Um, same thing over here. And we lost the boy, so we're going to be a bit vigilant here. Again, exact same thing. And of course, Ronaldo Sanchez, you can take him off and you can put some more um, offensive there. Pass the ball to Ronaldo Sanchez, quick one, two backwards. Um, and as you can see again, left center mid and right center mid, they're going forward. And as you can see, Ronaldo Sanchez and Eto are both took striker roles. And you can see, look, look how much attacking opportunities we do have. Of course, this means that our back is completely open. Here we're in trouble, so we're just going to run backwards here because we're not too sure what to do. Run backwards, cut him off, force him to go wide. Perfect. Nice. Do a through ball into the middle. Nice. Quick one, two. One, two again. Let overlap. One, two back. Perfect. Inside the middle. And you can see even when he's trying to press, it's very, very hard. As you can see, Nedford again, completely unmarked because there's too many players with AI to defend. And get the ball away. Ronaldo, class on the grass, shimmy, Ronaldo, ah, too much maybe, Ronaldo again, shimmy one more time, ah, too much, too much, too much, going to run back here with our CDM, not going to use our back three yet because we don't need to, 
again for a more very attacking stack. Oh, we didn't see that play. I didn't see that play on the radar there. Or even I didn't see that play in person. That's why the cop cam angle is very important as well while using this formation. Another tip as always, because this formation is so effective, your opponent can't actually see the players making runs in behind. Uh, if you look at, for example, um, Nedved and uh, Atal when they're running forward, you can see the defender can't even see them. It's because he's probably using telebroadcast. You see that? Like, watch Nedved. Corner of my eye. Watch Atal, right? Nedved, the opponent can't even see him. So look, he's not even looking at Nedved. It's only when Nedved is running in behind, he then sees them again. Another issue, of course, with using telebroadcast. And this is kind of for those that want to break that formation. Final attack now as we go forward. Get the ball to Neymar, very luckily. Going to let these, going to let these players overlap. Perfect. Oh, and that is game, set, and match. Remember, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is an example of how to attack with... The 5-3-2. I just wanted to show you one final example of how effective this formation is. And you can see even against the 4-4-2, it's almost next to impossible to defend. And if we go back to, um, as you can see, Eto's goal over here. And as you can see, both centre-backs have been completely preoccupied, as you can see. And that means that when Eto is making that run in behind, as you can see like so, it's almost next to impossible to defend. Because, of course... Nedved's over here, distracting that player, and that in turn has created space for Eto. I like to call this a tactical masterclass. Um, we run this formation for three years, and it's still one of the most favorite, my most favorite formations to play in the game. It does take a bit more concentration um, compared to normal. Again, this goal over here, what could you do? Um, it is one of those un very unfortunate events where, like, I don't know, for some reason, he uses left foot instead of his right foot. A series of unfortunate events. And um, you can even see, like, getting the ball forward. That's the left in the mid going forward and joining the attack. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.